right, Ms. Boucher, can I see the bank records from Chase for your checking account, please? All right, Mr. Schaefer, now you want to tell me what you needed this money for? Um, well, it goes back to August 2013. My wife started feeling very ill. I don't um, want to go back to okay, 2013. So now, snap forward. She's been diagnosed with something called Wagner's, and Wagner's is treated with chemo. And those chemo treatments are, they're not covered entirely by insurance. And they are $36,000 every treatment, four times a week for five weeks. So out of, our, out of our pocket is that amount of money, and we had to do it consecutively three times. Just a second. I want you to understand what you just said to me, Mr. <laughs> Schaefer. It's completely different from what you said to me in your answer. You said you had to pay $36,000 four times a week for three different rounds of treatment. Is that what you're telling me? No, the treatments were $36,000, and our... That's what the treatments were, and our out-of-pocket was $6,000. Okay, well, we forgot that. So you're telling me that, that you had to pay $24,000 a week correct. for three consecutive rounds of treatment. Is that correct? It was four treatments. It's four treatments in one week. But he said it was done three times. Every six months, three times. Every six months, so that you had to pay approximately $75,000. Correct. Over what period of time? That was over 18 months. And is that why you needed this money? That was a great deal of it, yes. What was the rest of it? Well, also, there she had to take, uh, she had to do hyperbaric treatments for 30 days. Those were, as well, $2,500 every single day. Do you own your own home? We do. Did you take mortgage out on your home? We sold our home. Because of this? Because of this. Tell me about the money that you took from your sister-in-law. They gave us the money because they knew that we were we had nothing left. It's an odd amount of money, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Could you tell me explain that to me? I don't know where they came up with exactly that amount of money. Where did you come out with that amount of money? Your Honor? Yes. I thought that would be the best amount in in case we ever had to reclaim this money. It would be a lot easier to go to a small claims court, any amount under ten thousand dollars. So that's why I just lowered it by a dollar. By a dollar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have a seat. I got it. Did you expect to be repaid? Yes, Your Honor. How? He told me that in three months he was going to give me back the loan. Did you ever tell her that? I wouldn't have told her that. I didn't have any money to be able to tell her that. I told Michael, actually, that snapping forward, when they started telling me that it was a loan, that if, if it was a loan, I would have never accepted it because I wouldn't have been able to pay it back. How much do you have left in your savings account now, Ms. Boucher? Um, about 1700 Is your wife better? I'm not. Your Honor, can I say something? Yes. He gave me a check for uh, February the 28th for 2000, uh, 2016 for $2,500 for the loan. I'd like to say. And on that, Your Honor, and on that check? Shh, shh, shh. Don't do that. Well, you gave her $2,500, sir, in February. And you wrote in that balance 